Senegalese 19 year old Pape Matar Sar sits in Tottenham squad right now. He is listed for loan though. Uh, rated 9 million to 27 million, making 30K per week as a breakthrough prospect. So he, if he's good, if he turns out good in your saves, uh, he definitely, you know, looks like he could be gotten on the cheap. But, you know, let's find out in the next 10 years what actually happens to him. As you can see, some of his stats aren't the, aren't, they're not too bad, I have to say. I mean, 13 dribbling, 13 first touch, 13 long shots, I mean long shots, 14 passing, 13 tackling. He's got some numbers that are not too bad. They definitely need to grow. I would love to see some of these things grow, though. He's got some versatility. Unfortunately, he needs to bring it up on the wings. But as a central midfielder, as a DM, not too bad. And as an AMC... So he can play a little bit. Physically, not the greatest. 12 acceleration, 10 pace. So he's really got to bring that up a bit. I mean, if he wants to sit in my squad, I have to say, I am definitely on the pacier side. I would like to see the pacier side of things. Leadership of 10 is not the greatest. Off the ball, positioning, teamwork, 14s and 13s, not too bad. So he definitely, like I said, he's got some good numbers. I just would like to see him grow a bit. Milestone-wise, just to start out, as you can see, Senegalese Cup winner, Senegalese League One champions, first international cap. He has nothing for Tottenham yet. Uh, FC Mets, he didn't get, you know, league debut, score a league cup or a league goal, his, on whatever, so nothing, no. I don't know why FM decides to not list these out in your milestones when they do it for almost everyone else. But, I mean, I don't know what FC Mets, what he was like there. His stats are not too bad right now. I can see why he's at Tottenham. He's a youngster, 13, 19 years old. But the next 10 years are going to be crucial for his development. Is he going to stay at Tottenham or is he going to move on? Is he going to grow at all? Let's find out. season he is at West Ham right now however he is wanted on transfer by Bournemouth but 30 years old 85 caps so internationally he's doing not too bad however his stats just have not grown all that much at all I mean acceleration and pace is physicals I mean agility of 15 is great natural fitness of 15 is great however the the acceleration and pace for me is where it hurts stamina of 12 strength of 13 eh. But I mean, dribbling of 13, first touch of 14. He's got some 13s and 14s, 12s that just haven't grown that you really would like to see. Uh, leadership of 10 is still not great. Pace at 12, so that has grown a little bit. But I mean, overall, I guess okay. I think he's got a negative 8.5 in the winner update for the database. So that's really, as far as I remember, it's from like 150 to 170 as the top range. It definitely does not look like he's up towards the 170 range. It looks like he's Close, much closer to the 150 and even then that's a potential attribute that once you start your save becomes a fixed save pick, fixed number somewhere in that range however you still may not reach that so he could be under 150 right now depending on the game time and injuries and all that what happens to him but he just doesn't look like he's grown all that much at all still willing you know worth a scout rated at 14 and a half to 43 million as a squad player maybe you just need that squad player or fringe player or backup or something and it looks like you could probably get him for pretty cheap career stats wise as you can see he started in senegal generation foot moved on as a free to fc mets uh then moved 13.75 to tottenham off to stuttgart on loan for 450k then off to mites for 875 he has not had a season above seven it's sad to see however from Mainz, he moved to Borussia Mönchengladbach for eight and a half. Did very well in in that part of Germany, at least. 699, 692. Moved on to West Ham. 673 is not the worst, but it's not all that great. Definitely a squad player, but 31 and a half million. Uh, 663, not great at all. Milestone-wise, he's got a lot of, you know, named in best 11s and bought buys, but... First international goal and under 21 Premier Division Cup winners with Tottenham. And that's really it from what we haven't seen before. Now, injuries is where he shines. He's got almost nothing. Eight slights, two minors, and a major. And that is it. I mean, the major, yes. A double hernia is a double hernia. Yeah. Five weeks is not great. However, everything else is in training, two in matches. So, eh. But still, not out all that much whatsoever. 
Tactically, DM for club, 13 appearances, 656. I mean, it's just awful to see. Internationally, though, for a DM, 41, two goals, six assists, 713, doing much better on the international stage than he is in the Premier League uh, or thereabouts in club at all. But as an AMC, four for club, one goal, 680, much better there. Maybe he should have been used in that position a little bit more, but 656 is just not great. So with all that said, we're going to move on to when he retires just to see what happens in this save. So let's get to it. Well, it is the end of the 20 to 39 season. And as you can see, he is in Istanbul. Bashak Shahir rated for nothing. I mean, the contract expires in 18 days. So, but I mean, his technicals are just, I mean, some numbers are great. First touch of 14, still there passing of 14, but cr corners crossing dribbling. Oh God. His physicals, acceleration and pace are gone. He's barely walking these days. So yeah, it is definitely time for him to, to retire. And actually two seasons ago when he moved to Bashak Shahir, it says in the, uh, somewhere in the plans, I think, that he was very happy to see the rest of his career out at Bashak Shahir. So you could see currently looking at retiring at the end of the season, 629, 2039. 36, he definitely looks like it's time to retire. 121 caps, though, is fantastic. So from West Ham, he did spend three seasons in West Ham. 666, 663, not great. Off to FC Lifering. There's that Lifering in Austria again. Off to Red Bull Salzburg on loan for 1.9. Lifering must be an affiliate of West Ham or something like that. But then back to West Ham. I mean, life. I, Red Bull Salzburg, 699 in 20 appearances. Maybe he should have stayed there. But Valencia on loan, 105k, 674, not great. FC Midgetland in Denmark uh, for 714, doing a lot better there. But then off to Istanbul, two scenes of just, at, I'm not even mediocre, I would say that's pretty bad. 25 appearances, only two the next season. So it is exactly pinpoint time to retire, my friend. Milestone wise, as you can see, I mean, still signed buys and named in seasonal best 11s. English under 21 Premier Division 2 champions with West Ham. So, I mean, sadly, he was sitting there for a while. Europa Conference League winners, very good trophy right there. It's a fantastic one to have in the cabinet. Uh, Red Bull Salzburg Cup winners, so very nicely done. But pretty much everything else is just Senegal, uh, West Ham best 11s, Borussia Mönchengladbach seasonal best 11s. So, he's got a lot of those, and that's pretty much, but still. Two major trophies right there. But that is the career of Pape Matarsar. Definitely not one that I was expecting. I was kind of hoping. I mean, I'm always optimistic for some reason with these with these players who have really high potential. You think negative 8.5, if he can get to 170, that's fantastic. Any club would want him in his, you know, for in a, the first squad. But this time, as many times, it just doesn't pan out as well as you'd hoped. But that's it. Uh, he ends his career in Istanbul. Uh interesting career no question about it i mean definitely still one to scout see how he does in your save but that is it for Pape matarsar i am Sefian fm for the football manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching take care and enjoy mm -hmm.